So another video on the LS swapped the Gen Kamau. We're going to be putting the water pump on today. Now they, a couple proper ways you can do this. This is no way to pop away, but this is how we install us. You can install yours the same way or do it by the book. It don't matter. This is basically just a video showing you how we did us. But we're taking this uh, silicone here and we're just smearing it around where the gasket goes. A light coat on both sides. Now the gaskets do come with O-wings. The newer ones. Right here they are. And they do compress to seal. But I have seen cases on these blocks. And where this is corroded or somebody cleaned it and nicked it before. And they actually seep and leak. So we're just going to add the silicone to help hold the gasket. And when you mash it down, it will actually press out in between these anyway. So it's going to seal one way or another. But uh, if you're doing this properly, you don't supposed to use silicone. You just set the gaskets on it and you're good to go. Clean the surface. You know, no normal steps. But we're using silicone because we don't want no leaks. But you don't have to. Next step. So the silicone, as you can see, helps hold the gaskets onto the block. Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, set the water pump on. But before we do that, we are actually smearing silicone with light coat. As you've seen, don't go crazy with it if you use silicone. You do not have to, but if you do, light coats. So another easy way to do this is start to your bolts in the holes. That way... Everything goes in pretty good and uh, lines up easy. Now, you don't have to fight with your gaskets this way either by using silicone. And your uh, pump is upside down, Amos. I figured that out, James. Oh, did you? Okay, take number two. Two bolts starts in here. Easy peasy. See, that silicone helps out, love. You don't have to use all that silicone. I mean, you could dab just a little bit on the edges to help hold your gaskets. You don't have to smell the whole thing. You know, this is just giving you ideas how to install yours, especially if you're installing one for the first time. But this is how this is going. I'm going to hold up on this while Amos tightens it down. The water pump's all done. It's all buttoned up. We went ahead and put a alternator bracket on. If you can see down here, the truck power steering pump it's going to work out great for what it needs to go. So that, that's amazing. We might have to build a custom line right here, over to here. That's simple to do. You know, for any do-it-yourself kind of guy. Now, if you're wondering what we painted this brackets with, we just used cryon fusion, all-in-one paint, and primer. It's good enough for brackets. It works for this car. Now, the engine was done in base coat, clear coat. There's a video on painting the engine. Tons of video, as I said before, if you're new, get subscribed on this Studgen LS swap. So if you found this water pump video helpful, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and, uh, you know, thank you for watching.